It's heat wave time. The AC is running on high and power grids are taxed as expected, but the industry isn't making the investment it needs to. So says Becky Harrison, who's CEO of Gridwise Alliance. She joins us now. Becky, good morning. Good morning, Raul. Okay, so you, you were mentioning to our producer before you came on, the, the power industry, it's risk averse and it's rewarded for being so. What do you mean by that? Well, we are a highly regulated industry. So the way we make money and the way we are managed is we have commissions and FERC who oversee our investments and approve those investments. And in order to get those investments approved, they have to be deemed very prudent or you don't get your cost recovery for them. Therefore, it makes it a, a, a situation where um, investments aren't made if there's not a guarantee to get return on those investments and new technologies like grid modernization technologies are not easy to have a rock solid business case for because they haven't been done before over and over and over again that, that's kind of fascinating i mean if, if i understand you correctly when it comes to uh, a regulated industry like a utility where prices uh, are, are you, you're only allowed to raise prices if regulators approve that uh, you'd have to show, okay, we're not. If you're, we have to prove that, in effect, this is going to generate a return. Otherwise, we're not going to take the risk with that particular investment because otherwise, we're not going to be able to, to, to get the, the, the pricing leverage. The regulators won't give it to us. Is that the correct way to understand that? That's the correct way. Okay, so uh, just to, to dig in a little bit, what are some of the investments in particular that are risky, um, but that may generate returns in the future? Well, certainly, a lot of um, companies have gone through investing in advanced metering infrastructure and the business case for advanced metering infrastructure if you are still walking by to read the meters there is a good component of it that is an operational benefit but there are benefits that come from taking that system and integrating them into other key systems within the business such as outage detection but the benefits for doing that integration are not as clearly defined and therefore it's very hard to say here's the savings we're going to get. The other thing that AMI is often justified on is giving customers more options around different pricing structures like time of day pricing and, and um, real-time peak rebates and other things to incent them to change behavior. But there's no guarantee that those customers are going to change behavior so again, that investment's a little bit more risky. So it is, it is harder to come by a business case that utility commissions feel very, very confident that you're going to deliver a reduced cost for making the investment. Becky, is there a change that can be made in the way utility commissions regulate, regulate utilities so that they can encourage some of these investments? Well, one of the things that we have talked about at the Gridwise Alliance is the need to come up with new metrics by which utilities and their investments are judged. So if we want to make sure that we have a highly reliable, resilient, and secure grid, we need to develop metrics that utilities can build their business cases to that ensure those components, but may not be a cost-driven business case. So those are the kinds of things that as an industry we have to move forward with. We also have to understand that um, it's a timing issue in many of these investments as well. So you don't want to go in and make the investment too soon when customers are not going to leverage it or it's not going to be a value to the community that you're doing it in. But you also don't want to make it too late because then you do see the reliability, resiliency and security of that grid go down. For instance, if customers are adding more solar rooftop PVs to the system and the utility hasn't made the investments to understand what's going on with those systems, they can impact the reliability of the grid. Okay, Becky Harrison, thank you so much for joining us. Fascinating topic. Thank you.